What's up, coach? I'm excited to have you really tap into to my mind here with this topic. Uh, this is a huge pain point for a lot of coaches out there. And the longer that I've done consulting with trainers that grow their business, the more I see this problem. And this is a problem that I, I really want to do my best to, to help you with um, on this video or if we work in person together. Uh, at this point, we have helped coaches uh, at this point do roughly around $60 million of uh, revenue that they've generated, right? None of that has been through paid ads or the stuff that you may think. Um, it's all been through helping coaches create great training programs. Uh, and there's 10 people now that we've gotten the chance to work with that have made over a million dollars of sales by themselves, all right? So our track record's really good. Uh, but this video is for you if you want to improve with your money, like make more, keep more, um, and you want to really elevate in this area, all right? And I'm going to be teaching my own kind of personal philosophy here when I go down the screen. And that doesn't mean that you have to agree with what I'm talking about. Uh, but I can assure you, if you're watching this video, uh, you've probably never heard some of the stuff that you're about to hear and probably haven't spoken to someone who's helped the amount of coaches that we've helped. So like I'm in this industry day in, day out, every second of the day, when I'm not doing these YouTube videos, I am talking to coaches or I'm consulting people that do some of the biggest things in the United States. All right. So these are people that need my help. Um, so if you watch this video and you want my help, uh, reach out, you'll see my phone number right below this video. Okay, so let's get going. All right, so the first thing that I want to just get straight into because this is a just fundamental principle that it just took me time to learn. Once I figured this out, uh, my business started doing better. All right, and this will be the same with you. And it starts with a question. So is the amount I earn lower in comparison to what the customer gets? All right, and I'm going to give you some really good examples here. So you can actually understand what I mean here, okay? So the first example is like, let's say you're helping a high school athlete get recruited to play in college. So let's say in your skills training program, you've helped them get really confident. They're better uh, in their games. They're getting uh, a, lot of, a lot of interest from college coaches. And let's say they land a, a college scholarship, okay? If they get a college scholarship, that can literally, especially these days, that can be worth more than $100,000 to the family. That is life-changing for a lot of families, okay? So with this first example, what I want you to think through is, is the amount that they're paying me, if I'm coaching their child, is the amount that they're paying me way lower in comparison to what they get? So if they're getting a $100,000 plus scholarship, and this parent is paying me $10,000 to get a $90,000 return. Like, is that a good deal for the parent? The answer is absolutely it is, all right? So this is why when I always talk to coaches one-on-one -on -one about their pricing, like, it is such a good deal. Like, if someone knows that they're going to get that sort of outcome and you can sell that and you're legit, like, you're not just some, like, random trainer. Like, if you are legit with what you're doing... Your price point can be higher, but what the customer gets is a lot higher <laughs> than what they pay you. That is a fair business deal. Like I would want to do business with someone. I would want to send you uh, my child if I knew we were going to get that sort of result. Uh, and I'm willing to invest the money into that if I know what the return is. So this is like a really tangible way to look at your business is like, if they're going to give me X dollars, is the result that I'm getting for them a lot more than what they're paying? If that's the case, you have, in my opinion, like a home run business. You have a, a really good offer for someone that is willing to pay you more. But again, what they get is, is way better than what they give you. And when you work with enough clients like that, you can be really well off financially. All right. That is example number one. Example number two is different. Uh, 
this is helping an athlete become more confident without going to therapy. So, uh, I hate saying this, but this is just the truth. Like there's so many kids now that are very fragile. Uh, they're getting picked on. They, when they miss one shot in the game, they freak out. Um, and a lot of these kids don't listen to their parents. Uh, they might listen to you, but they're not listening to their parents. Um, uh, and they resort to, to getting on meds or they go see a therapist for an hour a week, um, for the next like four years. All right. And in this example though, I'm not saying that you are like a medical professional. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is like, there's an alternative. Like the kid can go to therapy and go do that for the next several years, or they could be around someone like you, like, if you watched my last video that I posted yesterday, you heard me talk about building like a great program where like the parents cannot find this type of service in their state other than yours. Like it's your service. They can't find anywhere else. So if you have that type of service set up, you can help this kid avoid years of seeing a doctor and you can help their parents save years of money without having to pay this person hourly for, for, something that may not even help this kid, all right? And if you look at this example, it's very crystal clear. Them going to therapy is gonna be really expensive. And maybe that could help, uh, maybe it won't, we don't know. Uh, them coming to see you, again, you're not a therapist, you are a coach. But with this example, if you are helping a, an athlete overcome like mental performance issues, all right, within the sport that you have, all right, they could get an amazing result by just training with you, being more accountable, uh, all the things that you offer in your program. And again, when I think of like, is the amount you earn lower than what the customer gets in this scenario, it's the same thing, same one as a college scholarship. Like, what the family is getting out of this is so much better than the alternative, all right. So I could go a lot deeper into that, but I'm just going to try to keep that one as simple as possible. Okay. And then the example number three, it's putting yourself in the buyer's shoes, meaning, and this is like really, really clear. If you were the parent and you had a 12 year old that uh, really wants to get better at soccer or basketball, whatever the sport is, uh, would you pony up the money to give, give it to this trainer? Yes or no. And here's, the reality, if you're like, ah, I don't think I would pay $400 per month for this, or I don't think I would pay $5,000 upfront for this. If you have that limited mindset where like you are not willing to make the investment, don't expect your buyers or don't expect your customers to give you that type of money because you wouldn't do it yourself. And a really good example that I can give you, a lot of coaches that invest into my coaching program, right? I, I literally have a list of right around 500 people at this point that have done over $100,000 of revenue within 12 months of working with me, okay? When I look at that, uh, that setup, it's like they're investing way less than $100,000 and they're getting this unbelievable result because they put in the work. They wanted it. They wanted to learn. They wanted to invest in themselves. But those are the same types of people when they ask parents to pay these higher prices. They believe in their price because they're willing to invest in themselves. And that's the difference. A lot of coaches are afraid to charge higher fees because they don't know what it's like to actually pony up the money. All right. And this is why you kind of have to put yourself in the buyer's shoes and be like, okay, would I pay this? If the answer is no, then you're not going to be able to effectively sell something. I have made a lot of content about this on our channel, but that should be simple enough. Okay. So is the amount you earn lower in comparison to what the customer gets? In my opinion, that's a great deal for the customer. That's how business should be. You pay for something, you get something of really, really high value and return. All right. That's how you make a really good business. Now let's talk about like, what is the money actually doing for your personal life away from your business? All right. And I have two different sections here and I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. So let's start here on the left. So uh, you first need to kind of break down for yourself, like 
what is the amount I need per month to have peace financially? And your number is different than my number, okay? But whatever your number is, you need to critically think about that. Is it $5,000 per month? Is it $10,000 per month? Is it $20,000 per month? Is it $50,000 per month? I don't care what your number is, but the average coach I speak with, they never think about what that number is. Most coaches that get to me, they're like, yeah, I want to make 10K per month. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you're not actually making 10K per month because you're going to save a percent of that for taxes. So right off the bat, you're not making 10K total. <laughs> you are making less than that. Uh, and so what we need to get you to do is understand like what is the actual amount to the dollar and cent amount that you need to have financial peace per month, okay? If you don't know what that is, go look at your bank statements. Go look at what you're spending money on. Like, see how much money you have in your bank account. Like, these are going to be clear indicators to like what you're spending your money on, uh, how you're treating money, your relationship with money. All of that is right in front of you. There's no secrets, okay? But knowing that amount is really, really key because you're not going to really know what to do with the money that you earn if you don't have that on lockdown, all right? And obviously, that amount can increase over time as you generate more. Uh, but too many coaches, and I'll talk about this here in a second, uh, but too many coaches are too loose with their money. They can make $100,000 next year, and they're balling out on Instagram. And if that's how you want to live, like, good luck, have fun. It's going to be a sucky life. <laughs> and you're not going to have anything to show for it in the future. Uh, when there's people that are making less than that, that will have a lot to show for it in the future. Okay. So, uh, so then we go to how much am I saving for taxes? What is your to total overhead cost within your business and be a minimalist. Like I, I, this morning, I literally talked to two coaches that are spending more than $6,000 per year on software that they don't even use. And I'm like, that's $500 per month. We could take that same $500 per month and put it into an investment. We could put it into ads. We could put it into anything other than something that's just going to waste. So this is why you should be a minimalist. I'm a big fan of this. Like if you lived with me for for a year and you sat in this office with me, like I'm not going to go waste money on stuff that I'm not using. Like I'm not going to do that in my business. I'm definitely not going to do that in my personal life. Yeah, I'm going to be as frugal as possible with my business because like, why spend money on stuff that I don't need? Like, what's the point of that? Zero point. So this is why you got to look closely at the money that you have, but you need to really understand your overhead costs and min like minimize everything. All right. Oftentimes when I work with coaches one-on-one, -on -one, I'll see within the first call, like, there's roughly ten to fifteen thousand dollars worth of money that they're spending on their business that they can immediately scrap. So right there, that's worth ten to fifteen k. That's back in their pocket. Okay, so that's huge. So be a minimalist there. Um, next is how much am I investing per month into my future? So if you're wanting like hands-on coaching, or if you want to learn a skill, like, or you want to have investments into like investments uh it's like into like a roth ira sep ira like that sort of stuff um if you don't know what i'm talking about go google it um but that stuff makes a huge difference and most coaches what they do is they make money in this business and they purely rely on the only way they can make more money is if they just go train more kids and if you take a step back from your role as a trainer and you start to realize, well, how can I let this money compound instead of how can I just work harder for this money? Um, I wish I knew what I'm telling you. Like when I was 22 years old, I didn't. Uh, it took me time to figure this out. Uh, and so that's really important too. And then uh, you want to reverse engineer the amount of committed clients you need to achieve financial peace. So example, if you want to make 10K per month and you're really good with that amount of money, um, and that's like providing for you and your family or whatever, like, then you just got to say, well, how many committed clients and what, and at what price point and how long do they need to commit it, be committed to where I am? I have a lot of peace with my business. When you understand that number, you know exactly how many clients you need to reach your goal or get closer to your goal. 
Okay. So now let's go to the right side here. Okay. And this is where, and I had an interesting conversation with a coach um, on Friday. He flew in from Colorado and we were talking about like my family values and how I think about money, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to shoot this video. Um, and one of the things that I thought about when I got done meeting with him, I was like, man, there's a lot of coaches out there they don't haven't really clearly defined their values as a family or define their values of how they even think about money or what they're doing with their money. So for you personally, you want to have clear cut values uh, for yourself or with your family with how you understand and how you operate money. Okay. Because at the end of the day, and I talked about this yesterday, like the the revenue that people post online, they're, they're talking about, oh, I just hit $50,000 this month, yada, yada, yada. Like what you see on the internet, the vast majority of what, what that is, it's a ploy to get you to go buy whatever their thing is. So it's like the more the more people do that, that that's what it is. And they're drawing in the type of person that doesn't, have clear-cut defined values with money they're drawing in the majority of people that just want to make more that want to go buy a, a yacht or whatever it is some stupid thing that's never going to make you happy um, and so you have to define your values and these are these are the sort of things now like i love helping coaches with this sort of stuff because at the end of the day if you work with me and i help you make more money well that's great uh but what are you doing with it? That's more important, right? That's a bigger problem to solve than making more money. Uh, it is, what are you doing with it? Like, how is it actually helping your family? How is it actually helping your future? Like, what are you doing with that today to let it compound? That sort of stuff. Uh, and then next is, you know, providing for yourself versus providing for your family. It's two completely different levels. So there's a lot of coaches out there that they, they want to do this as a side hustle for themselves. That's great. Uh, don't expect though to make that, don't expect that revenue to work if you, at the same level, if you are married and you're a sole provider. And don't expect that to work if you are married and now you're a sole provider and you have kids, right? There's completely different levels to this that you have to be aware of and know that if a lot of people are depending on you, <laughs> you're going to have to make more money and be smarter with the money that you make. You can't be an idiot with this stuff. Um, and I can, I can just tell you from a lot of experience dealing with a lot of people, I have seen people destroy their families. I have seen people destroy their businesses over this sort of stuff because they don't have defined values with how they approach this stuff. Uh, I have seen people have incredible month uh, where they make like 20k in one month they go the next month to a car dealership they go buy a bmw and now they're in this this lease like they put 20k down uh and then they're on this lease because they want to have a cool car because they want to look cool and interesting on instagram this is the sort of stuff that losers do guys so i am telling you like if you want like real long-term success and I keep framing uh, these videos, like if you want a business built to last, not this business built for a month, but a business built to last, got to start thinking different. All right. Uh, next is the money you earn is, is a byproduct of the value you deliver. Like I kind of already explained that earlier, but like you're going to be better off financially with the value that you're actually providing. So if Clients don't like your service or it's, it's, or they can find that same service around the block with Joe Schmo. Like you're going to have a pretty average business. If you have this really unique way of training kids and you are building unique relationships with the clients that, that are working with you. And you watched the last video that I posted yesterday where like, I talk a lot about this sort of stuff. Uh, if that stuff is on lockdown, like you have the most valuable program and this word value gets thrown around a lot. Like it's, 
honestly, it's a watered down word. Like I hear a lot of other people in this industry talk about, oh, you need to add more value. But like a lot of coaches don't even know what that means. Like adding more value, just saying that doesn't make your program valuable. <laughs> you you need to actually do things within your business that other people can't or won't add into their business. And you actually do what you say you are going to do within your business. So when your customers buy something from you, they love it. They're not just seeing some bright, shiny object that you say you're going to offer. You're actually delivering on that thing. All right. Uh, and last one here. Uh, you literally do. I have a couple, couple more things, but you literally do the opposite of what you see on Instagram and you'll be more fulfilled. All right. And I could go in a lot of different directions with this. But I will tell you from experience doing it and experience seeing it on the other side of this now, like helping people, helping coaches make more money. Uh, and we're going to go through a thought exercise right, right below this. But let's say you woke up today, yeah? And there's an extra $10,000 in your bank account. And it's just like there was a glitch in the system. It, it just it popped up in your account. The average coach and trainer, you know what they're going to do with that money? They're going to be like, okay, cool. How can I go spend this? They're not, they're not saying, how can I go invest this? They're not saying, how can I be smart with this? They're not saying, how can this improve my future? They're saying, how can I go spend this money? And how can I do as quick as possible? And this is why, all right, I really like this thought exercise right here, which is if I make an extra 100K this year, what am I doing with it? It's a really good question to ask yourself because if your goal is to make six figures or an extra six figures over the next 12 months and you don't really know what you're going to do with it, it's just going to disappear. It's going to go bye-bye and you'll have very little control uh, unless you have intent with the money. Okay. And this is again, why this is the sort of stuff that I feel like is really missing in this industry. A lot of coaches they want to make more money and we are really good at helping coaches make more money. Uh, I'm on a new path though, to help coaches be way more profitable and really set themselves up for the future. That is much more impactful for you. And it's way more meaningful for you in the future versus just the current, like right now. Cause if your goal is just to try to make money in this industry, that's cool. There's a million other people just like you that are trying to do the same thing. But it's the ones who really have intent with the money that's coming in and they're they're smart and they make the right moves and they're intentional with what they are doing with their money. Those are the people that will be here and they will have businesses to last. They don't have this, this shiny business for a year and it goes away like the average coach. The average coach is not in this business for more than six to 12 months. That's just straight up. That's how it is. Most people fail. Um, they're in, they're out. They didn't see enough money coming in and they're out. All right. So if you're someone who thinks like me and you you want this stuff installed into your business and you really think long-term and you want to have the business built to last, like how I'm explaining and how I've explained the last several videos, all right, I'd love to help you out. Um, and when I say help you out, that doesn't mean you have to work with me. Um, I'd love to help you out. Just, I want to talk with you, get to know you, see your situation. If I feel like I can help you, I will tell you and I'll show you how that works. Um, this month, I'm taking on a select number of coaches one-on-one -on -one to work with. And I have developed a brand new program that only those who work with me one-on-one -on -one will ever see. <clears throat> this is a unique type of program that at the end of the day, it's for people that really want to level up in all areas of life, not just their business. So if you want to chat with me, you see my number right there on the screen. You'll see it right below this video in the link in the description. Uh, that is how you get in touch with me. That is the first way of contacting me. And I will set up a call with you personally.
um, you will talk with me. You won't be talking with, with someone else over the phone. Um, and this way, I can get to know you, see if I can actually help. Worst case scenario, leave that call with uh, hopefully more clarity, more conviction with what you're doing. Uh, and that's that's my whole goal. My whole goal is to to actually help people. Uh, and hopefully you know that by now. I mean, we've posted, I have posted thousands of videos on this channel and, and that's been my goal since day one. Uh, but I feel like now I, I have this new sense of direction with where I want to go with our company and the type of people that we want to help and, and the type of outcome that we're looking for specifically with the right type of coaches that have the right character and right mindset. So that's you text me, love to chat with you and uh, learn more about your business and, and love the opportunity, uh, love, love to have the opportunity to chat with you. That's it. Catch you later.